Adobe Illustrator, Part 1. In this tutorial, we'll look at how to set up a new artboard and we'll give you a brief overview of the program. To begin a new project, we'll need to make a new artboard. To make a new artboard, go to File, New. Under the name, we'll put in Poster. For the width, 24 inches. 12 inches for the height. If you see a larger number, it's possible that under units it has been changed to pixels. So if you see a strange number, just change it back to inches. Click OK. We now see we have a rectangle that we will be working in. This is our artboard. The artboard is the space you work in while creating. We also need to set up a print area, but this will happen later. It's important to note that the artboard area and the print area are not the same. Users must first let the program know what printer and what size of paper we intend to use. On the left hand side we have different tools. So we have two different arrow tools. We have text tools. We have tools for making squares. In this example, the artboard is what our print area will be in the future. So when designing, you can make things go outside of the artboard, but they will not be printed. So anything outside the black rectangle will not be printed. Next to certain tools, you'll see a black triangle. The black triangle shows that there are other tools that are related. If you click and hold on a tool, you'll see additional tools that are similar. As we're working, if you can't find a tool that I'm referring to, Click and hold on the tool that is near the area where I'm holding, and you will probably see it in the submenu. On the right hand side, we have different windows. The windows give us options to change what is happening with things on the artboard or with the tools we have selected. Right now, we have the rectangle selected. You can see that because it has the blue squares on the edges. Those are called anchor points. And we can change the color. The solid square is the internal color, the fill color, and the open square, the square with the hole in it, is the border color. Change that to yellow. Right now, it's not very thick, but if you look down at the bottom under stroke, we can make it thicker by changing the stroke to three or four points. Another important window is called layers. At the bottom, click on the triangle, and it shows us right now we just have one layer, which is the square, but if we were to add on some text, it becomes another layer. Layers are important as your designs become more intricate. If you click on the eye, the layer is, t is hidden from view, although it still exists. Beside that, there's an empty box, and if you click on that, it will lock down the layer, so you don't accidentally move it or make changes. Now I can select that layer, but I can select the other layer. When a layer is active, you will see a blue square appear next to it. So if I'm trying to select the text, it's not working, I can go into my layers menu and see that it's not selected, turn off the lock, and now it will work. If you ever cannot find a window that you're expecting, the menu has different options that you can use. If we're looking for a window about text, we can go down and use the type and character window and find that on the side here. In addition, we can change our view using the window. We can transform objects manually. We can select different fonts and a variety of other tasks. That concludes the tour. In the next video, we'll start adding in background colors and text and images.